thanks for clicking. So this person asks Kalidiansi. This person asks Kalidiansi, does God have sons? So let's hear what Kalidiansi has to say. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbids for himself and it is the most heinous thing for a human being to consider that the Almighty has taken to himself an earthly form. For this is not consistent with the Creator. From the point of the Quran that I recited to you, Kul hu Allahu ahad, this is the Quran. I'm reciting this for you, not as a necessarily your friend, but as a Muslim. This is what the Quran says in relationship to your question. Say that he, the Creator, is absolutely one. One whom all depends while he depends upon none. He begets not, nor is he begotten. And there is none in the creation that has any similitude to him. This denies uh, several things. One, if he's absolutely one, it doesn't mean the number one. That he is one above the creation and one single God. Not divided, no family, no board of trustees, no advisors, no lawyer, no bookkeeper, no company, no many gods sitting next to him, no mother, no father, no daughter, no son, no relative gods, no many gods, only God, God alone. That's what God has always said. And that's what Jesus said. The greatest commandment is the first of the commandments. Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. And thou shalt have no other gods along with him. And thou shalt not worship anything in the heavens or the earth or any graven images in the heavens and the earth or in the sea below. Now, this is what the Quran sets forward as the statement of God. So let's set your friend aside and his alleged knowledge of the Arabic language or the Quran, and let's set aside your familiarity with him and your obvious unfamiliarity with the Quran. No, the Almighty has never said that he has a son or family or daughter. And nor did Jesus Christ say, I am. God worship me or I am the son of God in the sense that Jesus is the exclusive son. Yes, in the Bible, Abraham was called God's son. Isaiah was called God's son. David was called God's son. In fact, we were all as good godly people called the sons and daughters of God, but that is only figuratively, figuratively doesn't mean that God is a father penetrating a woman, giving forward seed and having a son. That's a pagan belief. That's an idolatrous belief. That was the belief of the Romans and that's why the church adopted that. But no one ever said that, no other prophet ever said that. And blessed be Jesus Christ and free is he of that kind of blasphemy. So my answer to you, and to your friend who claims that he knows the Quran, is that that could not be so. But we can talk about that a little bit more if you like, okay? Okay, I get that, I get that, I get that. Well, I love his point of view, and I didn't even know what to say here about this issue. Um, but saying that Jesus never had a son, well, 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 well. But there was a specific person, you know, that was identified more as the Son of God. And that was Jesus. You get it? That was Jesus. Because every time Jesus wanted to do something, you say, without my father, I can do nothing. My father and I, you know, he's always making mention of my father, my father, my father. So whoever makes mention of my father, my father, what what does the person that uh, mean to the to the father? That means the person is the, is the father's child. That is the son. So 
I know that Jesus never claimed that I'm the Son of God, but mostly he's always talking about his Father, my Father, my Father, and my Father means God. So indirectly, he is the Son. So he doesn't have to say, I am the Son of God, for us to understand that he is the Son of God. So, but I, I understand um, Kalijansi's point of view. I know in Quran, in Islam, is not they don't believe in that. You know, we don't believe in it. Like he said, if Jesus was truly the Son of God, uh, that means Abraham was God's son. Just, yes, they are, they are the messenger of God. They are all messengers of God. Abraham, Jacob, you know, Joseph, David. They are all messenger of God. They are, you know, prophet of God. But in this aspect, God single utterly sent Jesus, you know, on earth, not by the, the normal means in which human beings give birth to children. Abraham was giving birth in a normal way. You know, Joseph too, they conceived him in a normal way. You know, man to man, having sexual, you know, so he was conceived in a normal way, but Jesus was never conceived in a normal way. That's just why he is he's singled out. That's just why he's, he was a special being. He was, he was, that's just why he's the son of God because most of his message or most of the works he does is always acknowledging God, calling him my father, my father, my father my father so that's enough proof to let us know that jesus is the son so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye